So, um, hi everyone, my name is Andre, and I am CMO of Project Hive. Today we are starting to go with our traditional AMA session, and we got um, some questions from you, and I want to answer it, and uh, we will see what will happen after. So, the first question is, can people interact with others in game lobby yes we really like this feature and we will definitely implement such a function someday <laughs> i don't know exactly when but it's great and we think about it uh, the second question what will be your main line of work after beta release and you go in are you going to prepare for ido or direct your work to attract new users or maybe something that we don't know now, now this is a really interesting question in fact we will move in all these direction directions and uh, even more in fact we are currently doing a lot of work in various areas and this applies not only to to the development of the of the game at all levels, uh, the creation of in-game content, new features and so on. But also preparation for IDO, um, preparation for various activities for holders, by the way. Of course, we will use various tools to attract new users. We're preparing, preparing um, collaborations with various KOLs. Uh, we will post banners of the projects, publish articles on third party resources mm. well, in the coming days we will launch a large scale giveaway competition for 40 million hgt uh, where will be very simple conditions for for participation so we recommended that you definitely take part in it and also tell your friends about it uh, so that they can also participate we have a lot of things currently under development. For example, we make a detailed guide hub with a detailed description of the game mechanics so that players can get detailed information and create their best game strategy. We plan to launch weekly progress reports in addition to the AMA sessions there where, uh, there, um, where we will talk in more detail about the progress of our work. So we, we work a lot of things, in fact. Uh, the, the next question is, uh, tell us more about how the game will take place in addition to Clan Wars for Land. Uh, in this case, um, it's really um, big and extensive topic. Let's dive into it a bit this time. So, what is a Clan War system? Clan Wars, uh, Clan War is a recurring uh, bi-weekly multiplayer PvP event. Clans fight with each other to take control of a, a particular territory, cell in Hive. We call it cell. Conquer territory provides passive income rewards for a winning clan. Only one cell is available to conquer at the time of release however the number of cells will grow eventually based on the marketplace activity all cells are formed due to the amount of fees received from companies funds invested in different outside staking pools those fees are paid to sell uh, sales, sales uh, holders uh, on a bi-weekly basis Pre-war the game launches, our team will fully found the initial sales staking pool with funds collected from HGT sales rounds. The first sale reward, rewards uh, will pay it in Seoul as uh, a first pool of team's choice, in fact. Part of fees from operations on the marketplace got transferred, transferred in into a different outside staking pools, DAO community votes for a pool of choice for every cell, expect uh, the first one. In the end, our community will decide to lower the risk and reward or maybe high risk cells will appear eventually with insane potential gains. 
New sales forms after a certain amount of fees get collected from the marketplace trades. Uh, the am amount is subject to change due to a DAO voting event. Sales ownership resets uh, be weekly. The number of sales will always be limited, while the player base will constantly grow. Clans have to join a bidding auction to get an opportunity for a fight. Bidding auction is a time-limited recurring in-game event with real-time bidding mechanics. All clans are allowed to bid uh, regardless of the rank of or numbers of members. Uh, top two bidders for each cell will fight each other in a clan battle. After the fight is over, the winning clan receives both bids minus a small fee from the winner and loser. All other bids return to bidding clans. The auction process is a part of the clan cont contract mechanics. So let's talk about uh, let's talk talk a bit about clan contract mechanics. First of all, clan leader activates the option for all clan members to enter the bidding process at his wish. The second, clan members receive the clan contract alert, meaning that they can st start making personal bids. Player uh, players enter the number of AGT through an application form available in the clan contract window. All bidding clan uh, clan members are show in a list with their personal bids and a total reserve, uh, reserved uh, amount of AGT. Clan leader select uh, 16 clan members who will participate in the territory war. If clan wins the fight, all personal bids return to clan members uh, respectively. So, uh, I think you can also open our white paper and um, see all the details about that. But I think we will need to show it in more details. I think in um, maybe some of um, uh, our session our sessions uh, in the future. So the next question is uh, how does uh, the project Hive marketplace work? Will it be only on Solana or will it support more chains or perhaps something we don't know yet? Uh, first of all, uh, the marketplace will work on our own private blockchain with the ability to transfer assets from and to the Solana blockchain. It will be convenient for the whole community, in fact. The next question. Any new info on 3D update, like will 3Ds be given to 2Ds, uh, 2D holders for free? I think you're asking about NFT avatars. At the moment, I can't answer this question because it's a little secret. But soon you will find out everything. Uh, just follow our announcements and news and you will see. The next question. Is there any staking on going or upcoming? Uh, where can I stake my NFTs and how? It's a really interesting and good question. You can already stake your NFT avatars because we, for now we got just one collection. This is our NFT avatars. This is... Um, and this is one of many utilities of our first collection. All you have to do is keep them on your personal wallet. That is, uh, you don't, don't need to lock them or send them anywhere. Go to our uh, official website, uh, then go to the staking page. There you can see detailed information about what kind of rarities and uh, what kind of income they bring to you. Income is accurate in IGT uh, and uh, you will be able to collect rewards after the end of the staking period. You can also visit our official YouTube channel and watch the detailed screencast guide about staking. So we, we made, made, made it for you. Uh, I want uh, to note uh, that um, an important point 
if you put NFT up for sale on Magic Kitten, for example, then it somehow leaves your wallet and uh, from that moment the I IGT accrual stops. That is, if you want to receive IGT, you should keep NFT, uh, NFT uh, on your wallet, on your personal wallet. Only in this way you will get uh, your income. Since we have touched uh, on the topic of NFT avatars, uh, let's once again remember uh, that uh, other interesting utilities we have here. Mm, first of all, it's limited quantity, only 3737 NFT, NFTs are available and it will never be more. Is It is a very important thing. Uh, we got a... a, a we got here a, a unique uh, in-game visual hour for the players character model and we already showed that uh, you can just um, mm, look in uh, look at uh, and look at that in our twitter uh, nft avatar give you in-game attribute increase by the way uh, by the way it give you access to the whitelist of the government's token holders of which will have a significant impact on the game game's future and uh, most um this is this is what i like the most this is we call it take ticket to the moon or my little empire nft holders will receive a whitely spot in the mint of cyber constructs uh, cyber constructs it is a playable nft characters in fact Cyber Constructs starter packs numbers during the mint will be strictly limited. New players will have to purchase or rent Cyber Constructs and equipment created by existing players in order, in order to start playing the game. So it's really really important and you need to think about that because it's really really great opportunity. Uh, the next question. Are new 3D versions of current 2D ones being manually made whole uh, 3737 collection speci uh, specifically one by one? Um, you know, yes, everything is created manually. You can see an example of creating a 3D avatar on our YouTube channel. It looks very cool. Uh, of course, we will show it again in fact uh, we will show it again and again uh, in fact there are uh, one, 150 unique avatars in our collection except uh, for the backgrounds mm -hmm. and yes we will upgrade each of them and give the holders the opportunity to move to a new level of deta details detail while preserving uh, all um, preserving uh, all the rarities and uh, utilities of course so i think i think uh, all questions is done i would like to finish with the news that already on may um, 8th uh, we have a release of the game this is our better version on unreal engine 5 with full immersion immersion uh, in the graphics of excellent quality with the ability to touch and enjoy the combat system of the game uh, we have already done spoilers but what you will see in the better version is really uh, and very beautiful and amazing it's for sure i remind you that the better version will be available only for nft holders uh, for the people who hold our uh, NFT avatars, we will probably even make something like a prize pool for best beta testers and bug hunters, something like that. Uh, well, we are uh, we are very much looking forward to the release of our beta version because this is really a long way for us and a big deal for us, and we put all our efforts and uh, our skills into it. Uh, to give the best gaming experience and the coolest economics for you really please subscribe to our social media accounts our twitter telegram our discord channel uh, read our publications read our white paper our pitch deck our articles on the medium and let's stay in touch 
uh, have a nice day and uh, bye thank you thank you for joining in and bye bye guys thank you